Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. For those of you that are new, I film beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos. I'm currently 31 weeks pregnant. We had our 32 week ultrasound today, so I filmed a short little vlog of that. If you guys are interested in pregnancy related stuff, I will upload that as well. I'll have it linked below if I uploaded it before this video. But basically, this is just some random favorites. I put together a few things that I've been loving over the past few months. If you guys hear some dinging or noises in the background, that's our little English Bulldog Cookie. She loves to just make a lot of noises when I'm filming usually. All the other times she's sleeping and really quiet, but when I'm filming, she's usually noisy. Yeah, I have a little bit of kind of everything, beauty, hair, lifestyle, so let's just jump into it. Oh, I will do a quick little bump date for you just because people will be asking. So this is my 31 week bump. Baby girl is growing. We are due June 12th. So I went today and she is four pounds and six ounces, they think. So she's definitely getting a little bit bigger. But enough of the pregnancy talk, let's get into my favorites. First, we're gonna start off with a little bit of some glow action. This is the L'Oreal True Lumi Glotion. I actually, if you can't tell, I like it because I purchased it in two colors. I have the lighter color, which is Light Glow 902, and then Medium Glow 903. This is what I use when I'm a little bit more fair. It is a little bit more on the, not, whoops, not pinky side, but definitely not as a yellow, golden-y. It's more of kind of like a rose gold tone. And then this one is the darker one, medium, which I do have on today as my base. I love putting this on before my foundation, and I also love putting this on my body because I have a lot of glow products, a lot of primers with glow, and I've tried a lot of different things, and I really like these because the formula is not too thick, it's not sticky, it blends really nicely. It doesn't react with any foundation I put on top of it, but as you can see, it gives the prettiest shimmer. So we have the lighter one here and the darker one here. They just look beautiful. I love putting them on my shoulders and my chest or collarbone if I'm wearing a tank top or a strapless top. I love using it as a base under my foundations and I just feel like the formula is amazing, especially for the price. It's drugstore and you get 1.35 fluid ounces. There's a lot of product in here. So I just feel like it's an all around, like really good multi-task product, if that makes sense. Next. We have some lip products. Bobbi Brown came out with some new lip products. These are called the Crushed Liquid Lips. And I went into Sephora right when they came out. So this was actually a couple months ago now. But I went and swatched them and I just had to pick up two colors because the formula seemed amazing and it is. I've been wearing these ever since, so a few months now. Basically, this is like a lip cream stain. I don't really wear liquid lipsticks very often anymore because I don't like how drying they make my lips feel. But then sometimes lipsticks just come off so quickly. So, and lip glosses come off so quickly. So I love these because it's almost like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss, but then it leaves a beautiful stain, at least for the darker shades. The lighter shade doesn't really leave much of a stain for me, but the formula is so comfortable to wear. I do have an issue where a lot of times formulas like this can bleed in my lips and I haven't had that issue at all. It stays nicely where I put it. So this is the color Cherry Crush. It's a really nice kind of cool red color. As you can see, it's really pigmented. And then the lighter color is Lychee Baby. Lychee Baby. And this is a really pretty kind of pinky, neutral pinky, peachy color. Uh, on me, it pulls really nice and neutral. I think on other people, when I've seen them on swatch it, it pulls a little bit more on the pink side. I do have a lot of yellow in my skin tone though, so things can look a little bit more peachy on me. But these are those two colors. This one I actually keep in my purse because it's just a perfect lip color to slap on where you don't need a mirror. This one I would definitely have a mirror if you're applying it because it's darker. But I love these so much. They're super comfortable. Sephora I think is gonna be having a sale soon. Depending on when I upload this, which could be weeks from now because I'm terrible at editing, I will definitely be purchasing more colors of these because I love them. They're amazing. 
Last lip product is actually the one I'm wearing. I had to mention this because I just am finishing it again and this is my second or third repurchase of this, which I never, I, I never repurchase lip products. I have so many lip products that I usually just filter through them and I never finish them. This one is the only one that I can remember that I've repurchased multiple times. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dainty. Now when you go on the Sephora website, Dainty does not look like this, in my opinion. When you look at the swatches, it looks really kind of dull and just not a color I would pick out. But for me, it's the perfect mix between pink and peach. Like it just works so nicely on my skin tone. I did some less tan last night, so I'm tan right now. And I love it when I'm tan. I love it when I'm fair. I just love it all the time. This is another one that stays in my purse constantly because if I want a little bit more color, but I also just want to slap it on, you can do that. This formula is definitely a little bit, I don't want to say thicker, but it's much more pigmented. So I do like to kind of check myself in the mirror after I've applied it because you will see if you have like missed a spot because it's so pigmented. So if you're looking for a pigmented lip gloss that's not too sticky, not thick, but not a really thin runny consistency, somewhere in the middle that lasts, is moisturizing, and has a lot of great colors, I still really highly recommend these Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and this is my all-time favorite color. I've purchased I think a few other colors but this is the one I use all the time. Love it. Did I even show you the swatch? This is what it looks like. Alright, next is a random Amazon purchase. Actually, I think a few of these are from Amazon. I've kind of gone Amazon crazy. We're Amazon primers here. We buy everything on Amazon and recently I've started purchasing clothing on Amazon because it's free two day shipping and free returns. So I've kind of been going crazy buying a lot of stuff on Amazon. I've been trying to find a baby shower dress, which has been so impossible. I don't know, I just, nothing fits me right now. So anyways, back to the next favorite. These are little hair clips. So I like these because I use them for the front of my hair. They are flat on one side and the other side just has a really kind of small clip thing. So as you can see, you just pop it in and then it holds down any areas that you want to keep smooth. This came in a pack of like 20. Literally there were four of these in the pack and it was maybe $10, five or $10, I can't remember. I'll link everything below, but I keep one of these in my beauty room, one in my vanity after I've showered. Like if I want to part my hair and do a sleek look, I'll just pop these in when my hair is drying. It doesn't hold a ton of your hair. So really I find it works best when you do little smaller sections and you just want to really keep like the front parts flat. So yeah, I've really been loving these. They're super random, but I use them all the time. Okay, we'll stick with the hair. And I popped into Ulta a little while ago. I wanted to replace my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. <laughs> I purchased the blonde one forever ago. I finished it, so I went to repurchase it. And I actually did, I ordered it online. Got it, I started using it, and it reeked. Long story short, they started adding fragrance to the formula. It literally smelled like you were spraying perfume into your hair. I hate when companies add fragrance into products. I don't want perfume on anywhere else. I don't want it on my face. I don't want it in my hair. The only place I want perfume is on my wrists, my neck, and where I purposely spray it of the fragrance that I choose. <sighs> companies please stop putting fragrance in your hair products and foundations and everything else it's terrible it's also not good for your skin it dries it out anyways long story short so i went to return that because they added fragrance actually if you look on the back and the ingredients included fragrance in the previous bottle i had it didn't so they definitely reformulated the it's a 10 and i think almost all of the ones all the different It's a 10 versions have fragrance in them now, even the regular one, so it's really disappointing. But anyways, long story short, I was looking for a leave-in conditioner that works for my fine hair, but since I color treat it, I want something that's definitely very deep conditioning, but not heavy, which is hard to find. So I came across this Shea Moisture brand, I think that's the brand name, in Ulta, and it just looked really intriguing to me, more of an all natural type product. This is the Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In, and it is a spray, so when I get out of the shower, I will spray this throughout my hair, uh, focusing it mostly on the 
ends. I just have been really liking it. It smells really nicely. I notice it makes my hair feel so much smoother and it's much more manageable if I'm curling it or styling it that day. That day but it doesn't weigh my hair down. Looking from the ingredients, it just seems like really good, more natural product and options, and it's very reasonably priced. It was fairly inexpensive. So again, I'll link this below. Can't remember how much it was, but it was not even close in price to it's a 10, which is very pricey. So that was an exciting find. And then I will go next to the same brand. I also picked this up because it was sitting next to it. I wanted to find a body oil for my belly to slather on in the mornings and the evenings and just try to prevent stretch marks stretch marks as much as possible. So I purchased the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydrating body lotion and I really really like this. I feel like I do have regular coconut oil in a jar but it solidifies at certain temperatures. It's just kind of messy and hard to work with. So I wanted just an easy oil I could put into my hands quickly, slather it on and be done. There's some really good other ingredients in here. Organic raw shea butter, organic oil and coconut milk. And when you look at the ingredients on the back, it's all really good stuff from what I can see. Huge eight ounce bottle, fairly inexpensive compared to other things that you could purchase. And so far I've really been loving, you okay? So far, I've been really loving the Shea Moisture brand. I don't know where else you can find it. I got it at Ulta, but I'll definitely link these products below and I'm gonna be trying more from their line. So, good job. Next is a random drink item. This is True Orange. I try to drink as much water as possible and now that I'm pregnant, I really try to drink a lot of water. Sometimes you just want something in your water. You know, you just want something besides plain water. And I love uh, the original ones that I was getting was called True Lemon and you had a ton of different flavors. Well, well, I really like orange flavor and I couldn't find that anywhere. So I saw on Amazon, they had a new flavor called Mango Orange. So I tried it and purchased it and it's delicious. So if you like orange flavored stuff, it's so good. Oh, I popped in some other flavors in here. So this is Wild Berry Lemonade. That's another flavor I have. And here it is, the mango orange one. So they come in these packs like this. You just pull off the top. And I like to pour in half of one of these into a, one of my Big Yeti water things. But I think you can, obviously, if you want it sweeter, you pour the whole thing into your water. And less, you can pour it less. So it's totally up to you. One packet, it's 10 calories and only three carbs. So, you know, if you have a couple of these a day, it's really not anything compared to if you're drinking a soda or something, you know, a juice or something else that has way more carbs in it. I'll drink a lot more water more quickly because it tastes so good. Yeah, I just think it's a really good kind of healthy option because there's no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and it's a naturally flavored drink. So yeah, love this. Again, I'll link it below. These last two items are also Amazon purchases. I didn't realize I had so much Amazon stuff in here, but we've been traveling and I wanted a new kind of jewelry organizer. I looked through so many pages of jewelry organizers and I was just like over it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give this one a shot. I love how it's just like a nice ivory, taupey, beige, simple, clean, neutral color. And then you pop it open, it looks like this on the inside. Fairly inexpensive. Do I have it upside down? I do. This side is really nice because there's a zipper compartment and you can put in long, I like to put in my long dangled earrings in here because it keeps them really secure and then you can zip it up. And then these are for your rings. You pop them on here and then these snap closed. This is for any little, I don't know if you have like, loose bracelets or any larger rings or anything you want to put in here you can do that this is for earrings i like to put kind of more of my studs along this one and then this snaps down and this bottom one's really small so if you have any random really small things you can pop them in here like earring backs or i like to actually put some of my other nose rings in there and then this one is really nice i love this because every time i was traveling all my necklaces like my dainty necklaces and even longer ones would get tangled up every time i got to where i was going so i love that it has these kind of top parts that snap open and you put your necklaces on them and then put it in this little pocket here. So they all stay nicely and when you get there, they're not tangled, you can see them. And then this also, this cover zips over it. And what I'll also do is the only thing that I've noticed isn't a good fit for this are like my bigger hoop earrings. So what I do is after I put my necklaces in here and I, they're all laying nicely, I'll take my larger like hoop earrings or big kind of 
bracelets like this that I can make flat and I'll lay them on top here or I'll pop them in this part and then zip it closed and as long as it's flat it stays nicely and nothing gets tangled or once everything's on here I'll just set some larger hoops on top of this and then when you fold it closed and snap it it just stays secure so I really like this it was very affordable and it snaps shut you can throw it in your carry-on or in your suitcase and you're good to go. I had to mention this because I looked forever and just was so frustrated that finally I bought this and I ended up loving it. So I was like, I have to share that with them. Okay, last item is super random, but I feel like I use it all the time, so I had to show you. Yeah, you're gonna be like, what is this? These are, what are these called? Shoe wideners? I have not a really wide foot, I, board, I buy normal shoes, but a lot of times I'll get shoes and there's a sp spot where it feels a little tight in the ball of my foot area. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get these and try them out and I use them all the time now. These are awesome. So the first one I got, basically you stick it in your heel or your shoe and you adjust this height. So this part goes on the heel and this is at the toe. This one is for the instep. So you can actually, this goes up and down to create more space in your instep of your foot. And then this one, as you, it's the same thing, but as you rotate the handle, the toes separate. So this one's good for if you have wide feet and you wanna create more space uh, in the width of your shoe. And then as you can see, these little black dots also come, a couple of these come with them and you can put them in the different holes here. So if you feel like the very front part is too tight, you put the black dot on, you pop this in your shoe, you twist it, it opens it and widens it and creates more space where these are. So I really love these. One of them came with this little black travel bag and it comes with those black dots. So I just keep these in my drawer, my beauty room. Anytime I get a new pair of shoes, if I notice they're a little tight, I'll pop them in, leave them in overnight, and the next day before I wear them, I'll just take them out and they're so much more comfortable. So another kind of like hack for if you are loving your shoes, you don't want to put inserts in them or you know some you just need a little something, these are awesome. That's everything. I hope you guys saw something cool or maybe something you'd want to try out. If you have any questions about any of these products, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please do like it and subscribe. If you want to see more beauty, lifestyle, pregnancy, maybe some more fitness I'll throw in there type videos, then subscribe to my channel. And if I say and one more time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.